Listen up, I'm Brian Pond. Amanda. And this is Take, Take Me Out, Out Food Reviews. Today we are doing the most staple item the, of McDonald's, the Big Mac. If you've heard of McDonald's, you have heard of the Big Mac. Now, does it stand up to its legendary reputation? Or is it more of the casual... Yeah, there we go. Stick that boy in the camera. All right. So, it's covered in shredded lettuce. It's, uh... Yeah, it's messy. All right. I see that special sauce on it. Man, these are... I haven't had a Big Mac in forever. I don't remember... I re like when I was a kid, I remember this being the size of my dang head. It's but it's shrunk. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I need someone shrunk the big mess. Hmm. That's the thing about American hamburgers is you expect it to be a mess. I mean, this is certainly a mess. Oh my goodness, it's like sliding out the back. All right. You have to. Uh, pass me a napkin, please. Thank you. But yeah, its sauce tastes like Bad Thousand Island. Want any pickles? Yeah, I like pickles. I need some flavor. I'm gonna wash that down a bit. Hmm. Pickles are a bit low. I will say this is well prepared. Like the the folks at McDonald's did an adequate job. I believe that this is the best. This is about as good as it could be. Like, do you agree with that? I'm losing a bun. <laughs> <laughs> like it's literally just sliding off. And I'm just, I've got a big pile of lettuce in my thing. So, of course, I devoured that because I'm starving. You okay over there, bud? No. <laughs> here, just here. Fix, fix your, fix your sandwich. Here. Oh, okay. That's how you're gonna do it. I thought you were gonna go the other. It's like way there's just, there's just like, no, oh, there's a patty. <laughs> oh man. Hold here. Let, let, let me get another look at that patty. That's an ugly patty. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna think before I speak on this one because I want to be I want to be perfectly clear on it. So preparation-wise, I think they did it, did a great great job with this. I imagine that's the peak a Big Mac can be. So 
shout, shout out out to the uh, line cook that ha handled that. I think I think they're doing a good job. But doing the uh, best job you can do on a bad burger is kind of like being the smartest kid on the short bus. Um, it's a very simple burger and it's clean. If you like the secret sauce and you like like and it's a refreshing like and you like a lot of lettuce if you like a pile of lettuce and thousand island dressing i don't know what to t tell you order a salad because that's what this is it's basically a very bad salad burger um the, the pickles aren't aren't of high aren't of really high qual quality but you don't don't expect that it's got the american cheese on there and the cheese does its job. It's like when you're you're eating there and you got that perfect bite in the center and your center didn't fly out like a man does, decent enough. Burgers are supposed to be messy, but this burger is messy the wrong way. It's tall, it slides around, it's just not what I'm looking for in a burger. When I think messy, I'm an Alabama man. man. I try, try not to bring up other restaurants and reviews, but I'm going to bring up Milo's. Milo's is a sloppy messy burger and we love it because it's just smothered in cooked onions and milo yeah. secret sauce which is good no, yeah. you know, staple sauce it's just a barbecue yeah they're milo's original sauce which is like just... so that that's our biases there we're we're we're, so, we're a southern couple we want to have slop a sloppy mess we don't want like a high and also when burger you want your burger big we want it <sighs> big going wide not tall you shouldn't have to have like the leaning tower fall over thing the leaning tower burger yeah the patty now i don't i don't expect to get medium rare or deliciousness out of this tier of restaurant mcdonald's but that, those were some ugly patties like those, those were no those were just mass pushed out i i imagine that they're three the the, the like three cents patty I don't feel you got the value to money ratio. I do. I do see why the Big Mac's I iconic. It's a clean, simple setup of basically, it's a nice little little salad burger with Thousand Island, a sh ton of shredded lettuce, some pickles, cheese. All right, so it's got some interestingness going to it. I can I, I can appreciate why it's iconic, but I don't think I don't feel it stacks up. I cannot recommend the Big Mac. I might try some specialty Big Macs in the future because, like, there's they'll they'll sprinkle bacon on it and some, sometimes and other silly things like that. But I can't recommend it. I think it's I think it's a good example of a uh, four out of ten. It's just I can't recommend it. It's messy in the wrong way, and the quality of the the quali quality of the meat is just do dog shit here. But hey. Kudos to my, my local McDonald's for serving it well, because it, it, I can tell this was well prepared and done right. Yeah. Um. I like the salad burger, burger thing, because like it's really just what it is. It's really just a salad burger, and the secret Big Mac sauce is really Thousand Island dressing with relish in it. Like you can literally find the recipe online and make it yourself. Exact same. So like, not really a secret anymore, McDonald's. Um, <laughs> well, that they they I think they they put out some videos themselves where they yeah. they give you a recipe for it. Yeah, but yeah, it's like not really a secret anymore. But um, to me, it's like mine was just like falling apart because like you got this weird second or third, however you want to take it. You got top and the bottom, so that's your one and your two. And you got this weird third little bun here in the middle that is just like oh, I'm just gonna slide out. Like, there's really nothing really holding it there. Because for me, the cheese was on the top meat patty, connecting it to the top bun, and on the bottom bun, connecting it to the bottom patty. So there's nothing really holding that middle bun in at all. So it's just going to just slide right out. I don't mind the lettuce. I, well, I the lettuce for me was, like, really good. Cause it's just a pile of lettuce, so that's just me. But... I don't need a paper thin freaking patty of meat. It, it, it paper thin McDonald's. What's going on? Um, 
Yeah, I mean, like if I were having a, like a little dollar menu bur burger, I'd, uh, I'd be cool with that. Yeah, anyway, I would expect that, but this was six sixty nine for a combo meal, four fifty nine for the burger. Yeah, you you can literally get pounds of meat meat for from other places from that. Like a perfect example, our uh, you know our Swiss dip, the Swiss dip from our Arby's is like a pound of meat that you dip into meat broth and it, it was cheaper. So it's like, this is not a good value. You're not getting your money's worth because I'm going to bring up another McDonald's um, item that we have not reviewed yet. They're cheeseburgers, $1.29. Much better than this. So it's like, and it's just meat, cheese, ketchup, and mustard, and onions, and pickles. And I That's would, it. Wouldn't be surprised, especially if you use their online feature, that you could just get the Big Mac sauce onto one of the the, the dollar double. You and can, you can. sure, you wouldn't have the middle middle insert bun, but the middle insert bun is like the worst part of the Big Mac. It's like, I like messy burgers, as like Brian brought up. Um, Milo's. Messy, like you got all that sauce in it. So like that's to have a messy burger I would like instead of just oh I'm just falling apart. Oh there goes there goes this random little middle bun out of the middle of freaking nowhere, like you just just falling out. And I don't eat it's just I don't eat the pickles, but the pickles I put off they're just like eh, I'm limp. Cool. So um I don't recommend this one to say Three out of ten, because there is serious room for improvement. At McDonald's on the for McDonald's to improve their Big Mac to actually get it in a quality that is the messy, delicious burger that it is supposed to be. Yeah, um, higher, uh, higher quality meat and something to anchor that middle middle puck bun. Um, ultimately, I think my fi our final word on, on it. Listening to you and pretty the same mind here. It's a dollar menu burger at premium prices. Do not recommend. Okay, thank you all. This has been uh, Brian Pond. Amanda. This has been Take Me Out Food Reviews. See y'all next time. Bye.